Here's attempt number th that's hell two. Three. My phone just kicked out. My phone? My fan. I don't know if you can hear that or what I'm reacting to. But anyways. Attempt number three on doing the predator reveal. Okay. First attempt mumbled more than I'm doing now. Second attempt, it was going good. But then, since my piece of your phone that I actually use decided to run out of room after only three minutes of film. So that's a fun fact for you too, people that follow my YouTube channel. That's why I don't get to post, because my phone sucks. And I have to go through my old phone if I charge it. But it only has three minutes of battery life when it's at 100%. Anyways, Predator. Okay, the Predator. It starts off right off the bat. It lets you know it's not going to be the type of Predator movie that you're expecting. It is not going to be the type. It is two spaceships duking it and then cutting a the hole in this space-time continuum. Whatever. You can a whole other dimension. Whatever. Okay, so right off the bat, it's kind of my intrigue because I like I, I I love Predator. I love Predator. Like when they had Alien vs Predator, I was picking Predator to whip aliens ass. Oh, how dare I? Aliens better, right? Yeah, no, that's what most people think. Uh, I love Predator with the dreadlocks, shake them dreads, baby. You know, it's a predator. I mean, come on, you have the first predator. Come on, do it, do it now. Come on, get to the chopper. You know, and predator part two, yeah, Danny Glover, pussy face, something, something, pussy face. So, I mean, I love them both, I just don't have them memorized. But anyway, so like I kind of went in this movie, I had expectations as I had my eyes closed and don't even realize if it's pointing at my face or not. Oh man. Okay, so spaceship, pshoom pshoom pshoom, pshoom pshoom pshoom. Cut through the thing. Okay. So then we, uh, okay, so I'm like, okay, oh, here we go. This is something totally different. It's caught my attention. Okay. There's not a damn thing scary about this movie. Not once. There's nothing suspenseful about it. The most suspenseful moment is when uh, Olivia Munn is naked and and Predator checks her out. Kind of gives her a nod a little bit and walks away. Okay. If you're expecting a suspenseful movie, you're not gonna get it here. But what you are gonna get, 110% guaranteed, if you have an open mind and you're not a diehard Predator fan, you're gonna have a good time at the fucking movies. Hands down, no doubt, easy doubt about it. I'm fucking drunk. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click upload when I'm done. Anyways, uh, yeah, the comedy, uh, like, Thomas Jane is the dude with Tourette's. That's funny. Oh, and I don't know if I'm going to give any spoilers or not. I'm drunk, so I don't give a shit. I'll try not to do, like, major spoilers. But, Thomas Jane has Tourette's. Thomas Jane is the dude who's known as play the Punisher. He's been in other movies. <sighs> he was a lot of fun. Keenan Michael Key. Okay. Which is funny because his partner Jordan Peele did get out. Now, Kingdom of Key, this is a slow entrance into horror, which was not horror at all. It was an action comedy. This movie's an action comedy, by the way. Yeah. So. Okay. So, the you hardcore fans out there that are going to disagree with me, and I hope you comment below. I hope this goes viral. Because it's most likely to get seven views anyway. 
from my good buddies that always watch the shit. Thank you, love you. Um, uh, yeah, I, 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 I like the humor in this movie. People are complaining about the humor. Like before I went to this movie, I kept seeing complaints about the humor. Like the humor was not necessary. It was necessary because you know what? When you go to a movie, you want to have a good time. Okay, I would understand if this was like more of like a hardcore horror series. Like Predator's never been horror. Horror. It never, never really has. If you think about it, it's always just been an 80s action film, right? Am I wrong? Once they integrated, alienated to it, then we can go horror. That's a PG-13 fucking horror. That shit was stupid. Okay? Okay? So. Where are they going out with this one? So it's good. The cast is good. The cast is fan-fucking-tastic. Keegan Michael Key, Keenan Michael Key, Keenan and Kel, whatever the fuck his name is. He wasn't even the comic relief. Anything he would be. No, he wasn't. Thomas Jane, Punisher, Threats. <laughs> and you can be like, well, he's offensive because he's making fun of Tourette's. He's not making fun of Tourette's. The people that get offended by him playing a Tourette's character are the ones that don't have Tourette's. I guarantee you, the people that watch that have Tourette's have a sense of fucking humor. Okay? You got one last lady, you got Tourette's, you laugh about it. Right? Maybe I'm wrong. Comment down below. So. Anywho. God, I'm literally doing the one eye open thing. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, like, you got a super ultra mega CGI predator. I was killing people. Okay, this review is like a big 86. So just let it happen. But also, I gotta tell you go watch the movie, okay? Now as I look at it, I'm at seven minutes anyway. So this review sucked. Sorry that the review sucked. So my final score is, uh, I was gonna give it 7.5, but I'm gonna have to go 8, because that point five comes from, they actually had the line, get to the chopper in the movie, okay? That's funny. This is a straight up popcorn flick. Do not be picky bitch about it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm dreading uploading this. I'm gonna lose subscribers. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, check out The Predator, please, with an open mind. If you're a diehard fan, Shane Black, who was in the original movie, by the way, and directed this one, so you know, he can, he has the whatever claim to do it. Yeah. So. Yeah, check out this movie. Fuck it. You know. Fuck it. It's a good movie. It's a good time. Have a good time. Watch it. Laugh. There was one part that actually... Because, like, even the most recent comedies that I've seen in the movie theater did not give me a good gut-busting <laughs> laugh like this one did. There was one part in particular. I'll tell you what, it was Thomas Jane that gave me a laugh. How dare I laugh at somebody with Tourette's? But God damn it, it was funny. So, check it out. Video Theaters. If you can, because that's going to be the most fun. Getting your popcorn and your soda. And you go in and you have a good time. If not, if you're watching this when it's directed video or directed or when it's in video. Then watch it with some buddies. Have a good laugh. Have a good time. Do not compare it to the older Predators. Please don't compare it to the older Predators. This is going to make you sick. So yeah, 
I give it 8 out of 10. End your fail day. Don't disturb the peace. Be sure to check out Predator. And I'm just not even going to watch the video. I'm just going to upload it. Fuck it, right? Watch Predator. My review sucked. But just go watch it. With an open mind. It's a good time. Late. That's my sign off. Isn't it? It is my sign off. Late.